Naturally, Downing Street officials are portraying this as a victory for David Cameron. The internet companies had seemed reluctant to take action to censor content. But pressure from the PM has brought together two huge rivals, Google and Microsoft, in a rare display of unity. Wherever you build a wall, uh, someone's going to try and get over, under or around it. It's important we collaborate on such an important issue. We do take a lot of effort to, to remove and report this content, but we do accept that there is more that we can, can be done, and we're very happy to do that. But immediately, people are searching for evidence that it will make any real difference. Halting predictive text on searches might stop the innocent being inadvertently led astray. So might warnings about illegal behaviour. But experts in child protection say it won't block determined paedophiles. This is the beginning and not the end. And it's a small step forward, not a huge one, when it comes to actual child protection. What we need to see now is the Prime Minister's focus and influence being used to help us catch the predators. Google say they've had 200 staff developing new technology to identify and block child pornography. Their rivals Microsoft had already developed the ability to recognise illegal photographs and track them when they are copied and distributed. Now Google say they've been able to do the same with video. The programme allows analysts to break down every video to calculate a unique digital signature. That signature is then matched against other versions online, even if they've been edited or altered. Once they've been identified, all copies are then deleted from the internet. Stuart Hazel scoured the web for underage pornography before murdering Tia Sharp. But most images shared by paedophiles are done so on closed networks beyond the capacity of internet search engines. That requires global police action. You can go after uh, these these peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. You can take down their sites and you can prosecute these people. And I want to see you know people being prosecuted for these vile crimes. And we're putting the resources into the police, into the National Crime Agency, working uh, in lockstep with the Americans to make sure we go after these people. Campaigners like Sarah Payne, whose daughter Sarah was killed by a sex offender, say there's only one way to really tackle the problem. Mr Cameron, please just fund the police properly so that they can do this and get better at this and be a force to be reckoned with so that paedophiles don't laugh at us anymore. Web warnings can easily be ignored. Tracking online predators to their homes is the real challenge. In Woods, Sky News.